We're not just talking ball, we're talking Raiders. Hard to get used to saying Las Vegas Raiders, but that's the opponent this week. We know their quarterback, Derek Carr, and he knows receiver Devontae Adams from way back in college at Fresno State. He wanted Devontae Adams as part of the Raiders and Green Bay traded him to Las Vegas. So have those guys picked up where they left off in college? Uh, yeah, you certainly see the connection there. You see the familiarity that Derek has you know, with Devontae's speed, with the route running techniques that he has, his ability to separate. You know, Derek throws a really good football. Devontae is one of the top receivers in the league. Those guys have really picked up pretty quickly and gotten off to a fast start. What extra dimension does a guy like Darren Waller give the Raiders? I mean, he's such a unique player. He's got size, he's got length, he's got a big catch radius. He's got speed, he's got route running ability. He can muscle guys at the top of the route, you know, if they're smaller defender trying to guard him. And if they're a bigger guy, he can kind of run past them. So he's a tough cover. You got to really have a, a good plan to cover that guy. How do you sort of characterize Raiders running back Josh Jacobs? Tough, you know, runs hard, low center of gravity. It's usually hard for the first guy to get him on the ground. He's got a really cool jump cut. You know, when he gets into the line of scrimmage, he can pick and slide through traffic. Uh, he's got a good burst. He catches the ball well out of the back foot. I mean, I think he's a three down back and he's really running hard. With all those offensive weapons, are they really able to vary their ability and create some challenges? It, they are, you know, between, you know, Devontae, who we talked about, Josh, who's going to run the football, Waller at tight end. They've got Renfro, who's a Pro Bowl slot receiver. They added Mac Hollins, who's a big, long, stretch the field, fast player. So they've got different levels where they can attack you on multiple fronts, you know, from a running the ball standpoint and from passing. Let's go defense now and let's talk about the edge guys. Max Crosby and the veteran Chandler Jones. What kind of pressure are they going to put on the Titans this week to take care of Ryan Tannehill? Impressive duo. You know, really impressive duo. They're both long players. They both use their length really well. Crosby's got a quick first step. He'll come inside. He'll rush with speed on the outside. He'll mix up speed rush with power rush. Chandler's really good with his hands. He's really loose-hipped. He can bend for a taller player. They create a lot of movement up front, but, you know, the, the focus is on those guys freeing that, those guys up, trying to get them in one-on-one -on -one rough situations so they can win. What stands out to you about the Raiders' defensive front? Well, I think they're certainly big on the interior with Billings, with Nichols, with Hankins, who all play in there. The linebackers, you know, one of our former players, Jayon Brown's there. Diablo is an off-the-ball backer. Perryman made 154 tackles last year for him. All of those guys can run and cover ground. So it's about taking up space up front with the interior, letting those two edge guys pressure and the fast linebackers uh, run and chase. Finally, John, how will the Raiders challenge you on special teams? Well, they, you know, they've got speed on the perimeter, so we've got to do a really good job with our vice guys holding those gunners up, allowing us to get the return game going. And conversely, the gunners, they've got to get down there. I mean, Stonehouse is really, you know, putting a foot on the ball. He's getting good distance. We've got to sprint our tails off down there and force fair catches or, or try to get a turnover.